Five tips for setting boundaries with people who try to squash your weirdness. You have been told that you have a unique personality and there are some people in your life who have tried to squash that. Unfortunately, you struggle with setting boundaries, but the good news is you are not alone. This is something that a lot of people seem to struggle with. In this tutorial, we will explain five tips for setting boundaries with those who are trying to stifle your uniqueness. There are two main functions of boundaries. They tell others how you want to be treated, protecting you from being mistreated. They build a healthy separation between you and others, allowing you to have your own space stroke privacy as well as your own ideas, thoughts, feelings and needs. You are free to be yourself instead of simply an extension of someone else or who stroke what someone else wants you to be. If you never experienced clear consistent boundaries and or expectations when you were growing up, it is probably not natural for you. You may feel like you don't deserve to ask for what you want stroke need. However, you can release these negative beliefs regarding boundaries. The following five tips will help. Be clear. Before you start establishing boundaries, you must be clear about what it is that you want and why that is important to you. This will help you explain what you need and help you maintain your stance when things get tough. If you are trying to establish a difficult boundary, it may be helpful to jot down what it is that you want and why. Some people find that writing out a script and rehearsing it decreases their anxiety. Be direct, stroke, don't apologize. When you communicate your boundaries, it is best to be direct and concise. If you try to explain, justify or apologize for your boundaries, your message isn't as strong. Whatever you do, keep it simple and keep in mind that you have every right to ask for what you want stroke need. You don't need a reason. Expect resistance. When you start establishing boundaries, some people will not respond gracefully. This is usually the people that have been benefiting from your lack of boundaries. They don't want you to change. Some of them will use anger to try and manipulate you and get you to change your mind. Others just need some time to adjust to the new you. One of the reasons people don't set boundaries is because they want to avoid conflict or upset anyone. When people don't like the boundaries you are trying to establish, it is easy to revert back to your former passivity. However, even if your boundaries do provoke resistance or anger, you should never not set them. You just need to take steps to protect yourself. When people fight against your boundaries, it only confirms that they are needed. It is an ongoing process. If you have got any experience with children, you know that you have got to set rules repeatedly and be clear with them about what you expect. The same thing needs to be done when setting boundaries with adults. You can't just set it and forget it. You would likely need to set the same boundary over and over with the same person. Then, as needs change, you may need to establish different boundaries. They are for your well-being. You should never use boundaries to control, stroke, punish others. Boundaries should be used as a form of self-face, something you do for your personal well-being. They help you avoid being taken advantage of, being overworked, physical stroke, emotional abuse or harm, overcommitting yourself or feeling overwhelmed. Conclusion You have got a very unique personality, but unfortunately there are people in your life that will try to squash that. However, you must keep in mind that you matter. Your feelings, dreams, needs and ideas are all important. You can establish parameters of how people are allowed to treat you. These five tips can help you set boundaries with people who try to squash your uniqueness. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.